beloved mother, you, you who know so well the ways of holiness and love, teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of Yagas mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. Offered on your altar. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, sinner. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. O give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the water. The Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon, he makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild dog. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh, the Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders, in his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. <coughs> Now that you say we see, your guilt remains. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit, all wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways, he clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven, your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain, your judgments are like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection, O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall, flung down, they shall never arise. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Now that you say we see, your guilt remains. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels, chant to the Lord with cymbals, sing to him a new song, exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God, O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your Spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Though the sweet odor of every sacrifice is a trifle, and the fat of all holocausts but little in your sight, one who fears the Lord is forever great. Woe to the nations that rise against my people. The Lord Almighty will requite them. In the day of judgment he will punish them. He will send fire and worms into their flesh, and they shall burn and suffer forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean. He stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who, li all who live in the world li revere him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the people. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes, on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all, 
and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse, despite its power it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord, the Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy, we trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. <coughs> Amen. No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. From the prophet Zechariah. I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and petition, and they shall look on him whom they have thrust through, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only son. And they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. On that day the mourning in Jerusalem shall be great. Jesus said to the chief priests and the crowds of the Jews, Whoever comes from God hears the word of God. You cannot listen because you do not come from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus said to the chief priests in the crowds of the Jews, Whoever comes from God hears the word of God. You cannot listen because you do not come from God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, help us to do your will that your church may grow and become more faithful in your service. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters.